cats are acting crazy. I just wanted to show you one of the things that I do in my garden is not just the plants. What are you humming about? Are you sitting on your friend who's under the scabious? <laughs> Definitely under the scabious. But what I was trying to say is <laughs> With animals, it's hard to talk about something to do with gardening, I tell you what. Uh, I like doing various kinds of foliage so that when something isn't flowering, there's a tactile difference in the foliage. So you see these lilies are out at the moment, and these are their leaves. And as we know, the hellebores were out earlier in the year, but they've finished. This, I can't remember what it's called right now, my head is stupid, is about to flower. You see right here, these are lovely purple dangly things. And then if you come further down, you see there's ferns. And then here there's um, Herb Roberts. And then you have London's Pride and some black grass and et cetera, et cetera. Oh, look some people eating my flowers. Anyway, this is about to bloom, which is lovely. And again, it's got a different kind of foliage. So I'm trying to, in some of my areas of the garden, trying to make different foliage. So if you're standing back like this and you look at it and you ignore bear walking through the door or those ones lying there, if you just look at the foliage, there's a lot of different um, contrasting foliage, different shapes, etc., etc., and including over here. Oh, look, my little fire flowers are coming up down in the bottom, and I love this geranium with its dark foliage. Another interesting thing that I planted and I think it's Angelica, I'm not sure, is this plant here. And earlier it had caterpillars were tucked in. Let's see if I can. No, they're all gone now. There were caterpillars nesting in each one of these. I don't know where they've gone. Birds might have plucked them out or something. But um, I love this, by the way. I want to get more of this. I love this. It's so gorgeous. Tall and elegant with its fern-like leaves. So, yeah, I'm not planting just for flowers and pollinators, but also for foliage and for me to enjoy it. Everybody wants their breakfast. Everybody wants their breakfast. Everybody wants their breakfast. Then some want to scratch on the belly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're so jealous. You're so jealous. Anyway, I love these. They're very beautiful. The pollinators like them too. Like my earlier video. It's all about foliage, different kinds of foliage. Look, there's one, two, three fern, different kinds of ferns, the hellebore, there's a dog, different kind of foliage altogether, uh, ladies mantle. So you go up from this wall, well, there's a potted plant. And here we have this hydrangea that's kind of pink that goes up into this beautiful uh, climbing rose, rambling climbing rose uh, that covers the garden wall. And here's lots of butterfly food all in here. Oh, look, I've got to deadhead a few of these. That's always something. Deadheading is a forever job because it makes more flowers and blooms come back. 
So yes, so you've got the pink hydrangeas, the pink rose, and then if we come over here, we have this uh, wonderful uh, pink catsnip and this pale and pink, two different kinds of geraniums. And then yes, some nettles and then some valerian and more of the pink rose. So it's all, and this coming here is uh, some willow herb, which is pink again. So, uh, and then those plants there get even taller and then have big kind of daisy flowers at the end of the year. And here's, this lovely thing is finally establishing itself. It's taken years. Um, this is the old growth of what those plants are. This is last year's growth. And I'm leaving them there because they kind of help hold it together. But you can see the pollinators are loving the cat's the catnip um, or the cat mint or whatever it's called. Um, so there were loads. Oh, there you go. There's one right there. That's uh, one of the hoverflies that is a pollinator right there. You can see with its speckled belly. It looks like a bee, but it's not a bee. A hoverfly type character. Okay, there you go. That's another bit of the garden to see. But I'm really, really pleased. This hydrangea has taken years and years to grow to get that big. I, they were a hydrangea that I bought years ago, but they were a tiny shrub that were, that was about the size of these here, you know. So it's take, about the size of this. Yeah, it was a tiny shrub that I bought. Three of them. There's one, two, three. And I got that one first, that one second, that one third. And they were put in a pot and grew on, and then I planted them out over there. Hydrangeas take a long time, but the, they are so beautiful. And they work so well with the roses up above them, the pink roses. So I'm very pleased with the result of that. This whole wall looking lovely.